All right, <sighs> move on to the second big story of the day, a new ruling that experts say will save many lives. The okay. FDA just approving the opioid overdose reversal drug known as Narcan. Narcan. It now can be sold over the counter. Joining us to discuss the implications of that decision is HIPS Community Outreach Coordinator John Bailey. John, good to see you. Uh, walk us through what this means because we've seen this uh, being accessible at schools, for law enforcement, etc. But now it seems like everyday people can walk into a pharmacy and get their hands on naloxone. Um, well, at least in D.C., everyday people have been able to do that for some time. Uh, CVS and Grubbs Pharmacy both stock it, no charge or anything like that. And we also distribute it. Us in the hips and DC Health kind of led the way to getting it out into everybody's hand, hands. Is there any. So this is the idea that folks, folks can get it. Okay, so now that folks Pardon? can get it and, it, and it's, it's widely available, are there any potential downsides to now opening it up to everyone else? If it was a uh, behind-the-counter drug, now that it's over-the-counter, is there any potential downside? Can you see this ever being, uh, you know, uh, uh, a bad thing? Misused. Yeah, misused. No. Thank you. I mean, no as far as the medication itself. Naloxone, no, it doesn't hurt anybody. It doesn't affect you if you're not on opioids. It just moves the opioid or opioid uh, off the opioid receptor. If it's if you're not on opioids, then it does absolutely nothing. There's no case where it's not safe. Now, making it over the counter though unnerves me a little bit because we're moving moving it, it in front of the counter opens it to them charging for it. At this time, it's either been insurance or just free. And we can't have something like this. The cost can't really be a barrier. So, what? so that's only only yeah. downside. Anything that gets in more hands is great, but if, if cost becomes a barrier, it could actually have the opposite effect. Yeah. And to that point, you bring up that some insurances cover it. Uh, you guys give it out for free. If someone were to walk in now to a pharmacy and look to get it and buy it, how much would it cost them? In D.C., nothing. If insurance Outside is covering it, that's, uh, that's fine. Some take the insurance card. But if you just went into like into a CVS or ones that had the standing order, it's free. Let's say outside of D.C., though. I'm not really aware of the exact deals with different pharmacies. I have been told Maryland will charge a small copay, but I'm not entirely sure of that. We only operate in D.C. because it's such a jurisdictional legal situation. Got you. you know, obviously, okay. this is a big deal, and, it is. and we've been it seeing is. The, the rise of fentanyl, yeah. and with that, I, I don't, I don't want to give anybody any wrong information about another state of Narcan. Gotcha. All right, Thank uh, you. Hips Community Outreach Coordinator John Bailey, we appreciate you coming on. But again, uh, this not just affecting D.C., but the wider, I mean, the country. Everybody, the country. Absolutely. So yes. uh, we'll stay on top of that one.